Not a sight you want to see. These things crawling around. <laughs> they are stripping trees in the area. The gypsy moth has made its way back to West Michigan. The gypsy moth, a critter that can strip a tree down all the way. 24 Hour News 8's Joe LaFrugge has more on speaking with homeowners in Grand Rapids, and he's got more on this right now. No homeowner looks for this. These caterpillars look innocent enough, but early in their life cycle, they have a ravenous appetite. In small pockets of Grand Rapids, the pests have impacted the character of the neighborhood. It's just really hard when it looks like November in June, and that's really what it looks like right now. Residents living on Shangri-La in Grand Rapids are among the neighborhoods hit hard by the gypsy moth this year. There's an ebb and flow to the gypsy moth problem. Some years are bad. They go away for a time. There, Neighbors in the area off Kalamazoo, south of 28th Street, noticed the return of the gypsy moths about three years ago. The problem with the moth, which begin life as a leaf-eating larvae, has been getting worse by the year. I've noticed squirrels running without any cover. The, the songbirds are, uh, we're shy on songbirds, you might say, this year. They have nowhere to have their habitat. And, of course, there's concern for the trees. We will take a look at the city's gypsy moth battle plan coming up tonight at 7. In Grand Rapids, Joe Lafergie, 24 Hour News 8.